A fiery horse for the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver. The Lone Ranger. <laughs> The masked rider of the plains first started his fight for law and order in the early western United States. Many people believed him to be an outlaw. It was not until later when Silver and his faithful Indian companion Tonto became familiar figures that they recognized the masked rider as the greatest champion of justice the West ever knew. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear when adventure lay at the end of every trail. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! The posse is right behind us! Hi, oh, Silver! Away! Posse, led by Sheriff Hastings of Little Falls, had pursued the Lone Ranger and Tonto to a point where the masked man and his faithful Indian companion could retreat no farther. Behind them, a sheer cliff dropped for a thousand feet. To one side, their escape was barred by jagged rocks, impossible for their horses to climb. To the front, members of the posse approached on foot, taking advantage of whatever cover presented itself. To the right, a steep canyon about 30 feet wide cut into the face of the cliff. The Lone Ranger pointed in the direction of the canyon, and... There's a chance for us, Tonto. What's that? There, to our right, where the cliff cuts in. That chasm, see it? Uh, Wait, fire over their heads. Hold them back for a moment. Tonto, do. Tyler! Keep your distance! Might as well give up, you two. You're surrounded. No sense in getting yourselves killed when you take it away. We'll worry about that. Keep your men back. All right, you ask for it. They'll take the time closing in, Tonto. They don't know we're firing above them. What do now? I pointed out that chasm. It's on their left flank. They look for that chasm. It stop us there. But if Silver and Scout could make the jump, we'd be in the clear. That right. Think Scout can do it? Him try. You concentrate on the jump. I'm going to try something else at the same time. What that? The sheriff's at the end of the line. There'll be some confusion when they see what we're up to because they won't expect it. Uh. We're mounted and they're on foot. I have an idea. I could take the sheriff for a hostage and still have time to escape. Uh. Watch out. Get back there! When I give the word, Tonto, get going. Uh, Silver, old fellow, you will have to make the jump of your life. Ready for it, boy? <laughs> Good fellow. Not yet, Kimasabi. Now. Get him up, Skull. Come on, Silver. Get him up. Get him up. If you make it, Tonto, keep going. Uh, come on, fella. Stay low in the saddle. All right, Silver. Here we go. Help, boy. Help. Good boy. This way, Silver. Keep coming, Tonto. Get him up. Get him up. What? Come on, boy. Drop that gun, Sheriff. Why you blow? Take it. Ow. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, there. My head. It isn't hurt. You're coming with me. Let go. Let go. Oh, still. Come on, Silver. Shoot the last man. Shoot him down. We can't shoot. Why hit the shell? Hold your fire and get to the horses. Look at him travel. Come on. Follow after him. We 
got to get the sheriff back. Come on, Come on, get the sheriff dodging and cutting back to confuse the trail, now putting on a burst of speed when open country offered the opportunity, the Lone Ranger gradually outdistanced the posse. He carried Sheriff Hastings across the saddle. Tonto had rejoined him, and they finally reined in when the masked man found a spot that seemed to promise security. We camp here, Tonto. Oh, oh, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 oh Scout. You fellas ain't done yourselves a bit of good by this. After this stunt, I don't know if the boys will even take time for a trial before they hang you. <laughs> Unsaddle, then make a small fire, Kimosabe. Uh, come on, Silver. Come, Scout. Did you hear what I said? I just said you fellas have got yourself in deeper than you was before. I heard you. But what did you expect us to do? Stay where your men had us trapped while you shot us down? You might as well give yourselves up sooner as later. As long as I have a choice, I'll make it later. You... And in the meantime, you're going to be useful. Huh? You think Tonto and I held up the express office and killed the agent. I know doggone well you did. Murder for $7,000. We neither murdered the agent nor got the money. As long as we can hold you for a hostage, we have a chance to prove we didn't. Who are you going to frame? We'll frame no one. Ah, but you, you were so anxious to pin the guilt on us, you overlooked the one obvious suspect. The one man who not only had to get money somewhere, but who could have persuaded the agent to open up his office during the night. Who's that? You should know even better than I do. Harvey Black, the manager of the bank. Well, you're local. Am I? How about the report that there's a shortage in the bank funds? Uh, How about the fact that a man's on his way to Little Falls right now to examine his books? What? There's a shortage. The money stolen from the express office would probably have covered it. And the agent would open the office for the bank manager any time. You expect me to swallow all that when you and your pard were seen riding from the direction of the office just when them shots was fired? We'd gone to town for supplies. We didn't hear the shots. Tell that to somebody else. I don't expect you to take my unsupported word. Shows you got some sense. But before I'm through, Sheriff, you'll not only admit my innocence, but see the guilty man in jail. Big talk. But how are you going to set about doing all this? You'll learn before the night's out. Yeah? We'll be riding to town when it's dark, and that's where you'll come in handy. Oh. It's likely your deputies will be on the watch. Possibly we'll be discovered there. And if you are, it's your finish. Not necessarily. We may be seen, Sheriff, but with you alone, your deputies will think twice before they act. Tato, break out our supplies. We're riding in an hour. Harvey Black had been a resident of Little Falls for five years. He had never become well-liked. Tall and lean with close-set eyes sunk deep in his head, his reserved manner had discouraged attempts at friendship. On the night after the robbery, he worked in his living room until quite late. But finally, noticing the time, he prepared to go to bed. Almost 12. Uh, didn't realize it was that late. Had to get up early tomorrow. What's that? Don't move. Mask. I walk over to that window. Draw the blind so we can't be seen in here. Then we'll talk. I don't know what you... Hurry. Good. This isn't the hold-up, Black. So you can stop edging toward the table there. I suppose you've got a gun hidden on it, huh? I see. Under these papers. Well, I'll take it. You won't be tempted to try anything you may regret. If this isn't a hold-up, would you mind telling me why you've come here? Not at all. Last night, a crime was committed in town. Well? The express agent was killed. Money was stolen. Paper money. Very interesting. But I happen to have known of the agent's death. 
And the fact that the stolen money was paper currency doesn't seem very important. But there's a further fact you didn't know. A fact you will find important. Yes? That money was sent here by express for delivery to Tom Ridgely. An Eastern syndicate bought his ranch, and that was the purchase money. You're right. I hadn't known that. But I still fail to see what's important about it. Tom Ridgely's a careful man. It pays. He knows that holdups aren't uncommon. He didn't propose to have that money stolen with no opportunity to get it back or trace the thieves. Go on. So we wrote the syndicate and told them to send the money in marked bills. I'm glad to hear it. You are? Of course. Should make it easier for the law to catch the crook who killed the agent and made off with the money. It will. I thought you'd be grateful for the warning. I'd be grateful... Just a moment. Are you hinting that I stole that money? That I killed that agent? You know what you did better than I. Why, There's you... There's been a rumor in the district for some time, Black, that your bank isn't in the best of shape. In fact, it's been openly stated that investigation would reveal a shortage in your funds. And it's known that a man sent by your employers is on his way here right now to check your books. I wonder what that check will disclose. All right, stranger. Now I'll tell you something. Yes? I probably heard those rumors before you did. And it was me who asked that someone be sent here to make an investigation. I didn't ask it. I demanded it. I insisted upon having my name cleared. You seem confident enough that nothing irregular will be found. There won't be. There's not one penny missing from my bank. Of course, if there had been, the money stolen from the express office might have covered it. Are you dirty? No, you don't. Let go don't of my swing arm. on me again. Wouldn't do you any good to get the best of me. I have a friend outside waiting to take a hand if it's necessary. Get out. Here's your gun. But don't try to reach it. Not so fast. Well? Why are you so interested in that robbery? What's it to you? The sheriff's posse attempted to hunt down two men. An Indian and a masked man. A masked man? You're that masked man. You! You're the killer. I'm not. And I'm warning you. If you've got something to hide, be careful. I'm not taking the responsibility for a crime I didn't commit. You can't help. Tonto, uh, have any trouble with the sheriff here? Him, all right. How do you expect me to make any noise when this blasted engine's got me covered all the time? <laughs> you would at the first opportunity. What do now? I've set the bait, Tonto. Uh -huh. Now to see if Black takes it. Back to camp, both of you, and hurry. Get him up. Come, Come on, on, Silver. Come on. On their return to camp, Tonto helped the Lone Ranger disguise himself by the light of their small campfire. The disguise look all right, Tonto. Them not know you. The light's bad and the stain may not be evenly applied, but that's something I'll have to risk. You take care. Hey, what are you disguising yourself for? And what's the bait you said you'd fixed for the banker to take? I told him the money stolen from the express office had been intended for Tom Ridgely and that it had been marked. Swan for Tom. And how do you know whether it was marked or not? That's the bait. And Black can't check up on what I told him because Tom Ridgely is with the trail herd. Huh? You don't understand? I'm gone if I do. Harvey Black may not have believed my story. Nevertheless, if he's guilty, he can't afford to disregard it. He won't rest easy until he makes sure. Uh -huh. If he makes no move to examine the paper money in his bank, it's likely he didn't steal it. But if he does check, you'll figure he's guilty, huh? Right. Here, Silver. By gravy, that's mighty slick. I'm returning to town in disguise so I can keep an eye on the fellow. Yep. Tonto, keep a close watch on the sheriff. I'll return as quickly as possible. Uh, Come on, Silver. <laughs> All right, Injun. Up with him. What? No noise or I'll blast you. Didn't see me slip this shooting iron out of your saddlebag, did you? What you do? You and me will follow your part to town. I ain't swallowed none of this stuff I've been hearing about you and him having nothing to do with a holdup. It's true. You sure would like to have me think it was, and that's a fact. But if it is, you'll have a chance to prove it in court. You and your pard both. Now climb aboard that paint horse of yours, peaceable, or I'll let you have it. Curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. 
Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. to continue our story. The Lone Ranger riding to Little Falls did not know that in his absence the situation had changed and Tonto was now the sheriff's prisoner. He left Silver outside of town and took up a position on the porch of the cafe where he had a clear view of the bank's interior. But it was early morning and the cafe had just opened for business when Harvey Black approached. Good morning, stranger. Good morning. A fine... What's the matter? I... Uh... For a moment, I thought... Yes? It seemed like I should know you. But I guess I'm mistaken. We haven't met, have we? You'd probably remember it if we had. Yes. Well, if you'll excuse me. Of course. Howdy. Hello. Just uh, sitting, stranger? You could call it that. <laughs> yeah, sounds a heap better than loafing. Say, there's Tim Johnson. Mighty early for him to be up. Hi there, Tim. What got you out of bed this time of day? Oh, morning, Pinky. <laughs> Couldn't sleep? Shucks, you know so darn well. I'm always up this time of day. <laughs> Hello, stranger. Good morning. Get him, Hold it. <coughs> Drop your hand from your belt. I was watching for this. The two of you were altogether too careful to get on each side of me. Oh, gosh, how'd you know what we was up to? I didn't. Well, then what? But you're both deputy sheriffs. Next time you try a trick like this, hide your badges. And never give anyone a chance to take me. Doggone, I still don't see how you done it. You never even begun to slap leather before we started to reach. Then you know what to expect if you reach again. I'm replacing my guns. We won't attract attention. But I can still outdraw you if you think this gives you an advantage. Mm, we ain't wrong. Act as though this were just an ordinary talk. Don't let people guess what happened. That's an order. Yeah. Now then... How did you recognize me? The sheriff Shut said... up, Tim. The sheriff? Where did you see the sheriff? How could he have tipped you off? Well, he... Uh, Quick. He, well, I shoot Tim. Don't you say a word. Your friend won't have to talk. I'll find out about this myself. Walk ahead of me. Oh, now, look Not here. Not too far ahead. You on my left, Tim. And you pinky on my right. Well, what are you going to do? We're walking to the sheriff's office. We'll make it look as though you're taking me there, not the other way around. We lose our badges. And if you don't, you lose more than that. But look, now The we... sheriff sent you to get me. Something's happened to Tonto. I mean to find out what. Stranger, I'm giving you fair warning. You can't get away with this. I'll try. But if you don't intend to obey orders, slap leather now. We can settle this right here. We... We better do like he says, Pinky. Well, we was told to bring him to the office, wasn't we? Just how wasn't stated. Let's go. The citizens of Little Falls who noticed the three men walking down the dusty street towards the office of the sheriff saw nothing to arouse their suspicions. Pinky and Tim made no attempt to reach their own weapons, although the Lone Ranger's gun were holstered. Meanwhile, as the sheriff waited for the return of his deputies, he questioned Tonto. No use denying your guilty, Injun. Won't do you no good. You ain't going to get out from behind them bars. And just as soon as my deputies get back, your sidekick's going to join you. You'll make heap big mistakes. <laughs> yeah, I'll just bet I have. Uh. Well, don't talk if you don't want to. Your friend likely will. And if he don't, well, there's ways of getting the truth out of hombres like you. <laughs> Maybe they ain't strictly according to the law, but who's to know the difference? That's likely them now. Got him, huh? Well, we'll lock him You're up and... You're jumping at conclusions, Sheriff. What? I'm not a prisoner. Pinky, you and Tim stand beside the Sheriff. Now listen, Why, sir. you addle-headed idiots? You let him get the best of you. You had everything on your side, but still you had to go and mess it up. But he had the door. I'd like to knock your fool heads together. Unlock that cell. You... Unlock it. Come on, Tonto. Uh, Don't step between us. Stand over here. 
Come on, old dude. How far do you fellas expect to get when you leave here? You're sure piling up trouble for yourself, fella. We'll meet it when it comes. How did the sheriff take you prisoner, Tonto? Him find gun in the saddlebag. I see. Well, Sheriff, it's clear that you still plan to pin the guilt on us. You'll hang yet. Maybe. In the meantime, you'll answer some questions. Ask away. I can't stop you. Once before, I mentioned the rumors about a shortage at the bank. Well? Do you know where the bank manager was the night of the killing? Home sleeping, I suppose. You didn't question him? How could I when I was chasing you most of the time since? And why should I when it's plain to me that you're the killer? You don't think, then, that if certain bank funds really are missing... It would have been sufficient motive for Black to rob the express office? He ain't no crook. And besides, he ain't no fool. Even if he needed cash, he wouldn't be aged enough to kill when he couldn't know how much to gain by it. Why wouldn't he know? Because we couldn't even find out. All the records that the office showed was the cash was missing that shouldn't have been there. How much, the records didn't say. That's right. We've written to their main office to see if they could tell us. But haven't had a reply yet, huh? How could we this soon? Uh, look, stranger. Yes? Let's forget for a second that you're an outlaw and I'm a lawman. Let me give you a piece of honest advice. Go on. Now, I'll admit you've got me almighty mad and I've made some tall threats about hanging and such. But the fact is, there ain't such a heap of evidence again yet. Nobody actually seen you or the engine leaving the express office. So? So why don't you give yourself up and face it out? Likely at the worst, you wouldn't get but a year or so. But if you stay on the dodge, you won't be able to light no place and feel safe for more than a day or so at a time. And sooner or later, the law will get you. It always does. Sorry, Sheriff. Now, wait. Your offer sounds fair, but I'm not taking it. Come, Tonto. Uh, Believe me, mister, this is just going to add to the score again, you. I'll pay what I owe in full, Sheriff, and I'll pay it soon. Don't try to follow us. Into the saddle, Tonto. Scott will have to carry double. I'll have silver outside town. Uh, Get going. Get him up. Scout. Where's Silver? Never mind that. Right past the bank. Uh, I couldn't watch the trap. I set for the bank, you Tonto. Not bad. But it wasn't necessary. When we reach the bank, I'm dropping off while you ride on. Where meet you? At the old bridge east of town. Hurry. Get him up. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. <laughs> As Tonto slowed up in front of the bank, the Lone Ranger swung to the ground. He knew that the sheriff would expect him to leave town as quickly as possible. And only the sheriff and his two deputies knew that he was wearing a disguise. Inside the bank, he made straight for the manager's office. Who is it? Black. Look here. You listen to me and you listen close. I haven't time to waste. But I kill you. You're sending a message to one of Sheriff Hastings' deputies. A deputy, do you understand? Just what is this? Your message will ask the deputy to call at your bank. I tell you, I... Collect the money stolen from the express office. Are you crazy? Listen and see if I am. He he wants me? Mr. Black says just for me to come? That's what he uh, told me to tell you, Pinky. I, I don't savvy. What should I do, Sheriff? Huh? No. Thunderation. If he's got the cash that was stole but won't give it to nobody but you, why go and get it? What else is there to do? Well... Go on, go on, get. Don't stand there like a blasphemy dummy. I'm going. Maybe the masked man was right. Maybe the banker did steal that cash. And if he did, by heavens, jail him. I sure will. <laughs> Two hours later, the Lone Ranger led a small group of riders in the direction of the cliff where he and Tonto had almost been captured by the posse. They rode at a trot and kept to the hollows that concealed them from anyone at a distance. Then suddenly, the Lone Ranger raised a hand in a signal to halt. Oh, oh, so oh, 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 stranger, what'd you see? Now, one moment. I think that's Tonto ahead there. It's somebody. It is Tonto. That scout he's riding. And coming this way. He looks as though he'll have something to tell us. Gosh, that horse of his can sure stretch out. Next to this and the stranger's riding, that paint's got anything B to ever seen. Here comes the engine. Die! Why, Kimo Tommy? You trailed him? Whoa, scout. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Me trail him. Where is he now? Him not far. Him head for rocks near cliff. Good work, Tonto. You sure had the right idea, stranger. Letting the engine keep close to the coyote while we stayed behind. We go after him now? There's no reason to keep out of sight any longer. He can't escape us because of the cliff. When he sees us, the best he can do is to double back and try to get past us. Which same we'll be watching for. All right, get going. Get him on. Come on. Come on. The 
Lone Ranger and his companions urged their mounts toward the cliff. They'd traveled scarcely more than a mile when in the distance, a figure worn by the thunder of hoops ran from behind a large boulder and leaped into the saddle of his waiting horse. The Lone Ranger, giving Silver his head, raced to meet him. Hurry, old fellow. Come on, boy. Come on. Pull up. Rain in. You can't get past us. Stay clear. Get blasted from the saddle. Stretch out, old fellow. Stay clear, Blackjack. Come on, boy. All right, you ask for it. Miss. You dirty. Rain in. You can do it. Hey, do you choke me? Look that rope. Whoa, whoa, that rope. Oh, oh, Silver. Oh, fellow. Oh, drop that gun. Uh, oh. Hey, stop. I'm dropping my gun. I'm dropping it. Just don't pull this rope no tighter. Out of the saddle. Ah, you're choking me. You'll soon have another rope around your neck, Sheriff. And that one will be a great deal tighter than this. You all right, stranger? He didn't hit you, did he? He never came close. Oh, 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 oh. You make good throws. Yeah, it was real fancy ropers. Oh, you're the skunk that held up the express office, Sheriff. You're a rotten disgrace to that badge you're wearing. You ain't got nothing on me. You can't prove nothing. Look in his saddlebag. You bet. You ain't got no right to search. Leave me be. Get your hands out of my saddlebag. Leave me be, I tell you. Blush. Shut up. Uh, here's the cash. The cash that was stolen. You'll get a conviction with this evidence. If he took all of it from his hiding place, you should find just about $7,000 there. You dirty... Sheriff, don't blame us for your capture. You caught yourself. You told me you were guilty. What? When I first spoke with you, Sheriff, you said $7,000 had been stolen from the express office when the agent was killed. Later it developed that no one knew just how much cash had been taken. Therefore, the only possible way you you could have known the amount was if you had stolen it yourself. But you said that the banker... The banker helped us trap you, Sheriff. He done what the stranger told him. He fixed it for you to hear the stolen cash had been found, knowing you'd make tracks to where you hid it to see if it was so or not. And doing that same, you led us right to the cash and proved yourself guilty. And as for them rumors going around about cash being missing from the bank, Sheriff, I wonder if it wasn't you that started them. Figuring it would point to the banker after the holdup. I never blamed the banker. I never said he'd done it. Because the stranger and the engine come in handier to take the blame. But, Sheriff, huh? that was your real mistake. Oh, Silver, how are you? you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. (laughs) 